Thanks for watching and let's calculate a really cool integral that I found on Reddit. And in particular, to evaluate this, let's destroy it using the Feynman technique. Because here, instead of considering 2 in this x squared minus 1, let's just consider t. So let f of t be the integral from 0 to 1 of x to the t minus 1 over ln of x dx. And in particular, let's calculate the derivative of f with respect to t. So f prime of t equals integral from 0 to 1. And let's put the derivative inside. And in particular, the derivative of x to the t with respect to t, that's like differentiating 2 to the t. And it becomes x to the t times ln of x. And this minus 1 becomes 0. And this ln of x is just a constant with respect to t. So we're still left with ln of x dx. And now notice the beautiful thing, the ln of x, they just cancel out. And so in the end, all you have to do is to integrate this power function with respect to x. And what you end up getting is x to the t plus 1 over t plus 1. And that's from x equals 0 to x equals 1, which in the end gives you 1 over t plus 1. So this is our function, and we just calculated the derivative to be 1 over t plus 1. How does that help us solve a problem? Well, if you think about it, our answer is nothing other than f of 2, because you just replace t by 2. But by the fundamental theorem of calculus, the value of f at 2 is the same thing as the value of f at 0 plus the integral from 0 to 2 of f prime of t dt. Got the initial position plus change in velocity. Now, what is f of 0? It's the integral of x to the 0 minus 1. But x to the 0 minus 1 is exactly 0. So it just becomes 0 plus the integral from 0 to 2 of 1 over t plus 1 dt. But you can just evaluate this using lns. So this is ln of t plus 1 from 0 to 2, which becomes ln of 3 minus ln of 1, but ln of 1 is just 0. And so in the end, the answer to that Reddit integral is just ln of 3. How cool and sort of slick is that, if you wish. If you want to see another method for doing this, stick around, because you can also evaluate this using USUB. And here's an even cooler way of doing this without Feynman's technique, which is due to my friend Floyd. Because let's just do it directly using a u substitution. So let u be ln of x. Then x is e of u, like the European Union. And then dx is e of u du. And moreover, u of 0 plus is minus infinity. u of 1 is 0. So this just becomes the integral from minus infinity of 0, e of u squared. So e of 2u minus 1 over u times e of u d. So no more x's here. And for purposes of what's to come next, let's just multiply and divide by 2. And the reason for this is, is that now you can recognize this left side as a certain antiderivative. 
because this just becomes integ 2 times integral from minus infinity to 0 of e of 2ut over 2u from t equals 0 to t equals 1 times e of u d. Kind of reverse engineering this because if you plug in t equals 1 here, you get e of 2u. If you plug in t equals 0 here, you get 1. But this is precisely an antiderivative of e of 2ut with respect to t. And so this integral just becomes 2 times the integral from minus infinity to 0 of the integral from 0 to 1 of e of 2ut dt e of u du. And so we have transformed this into, into the following integral. And of course, what happens when we see this double integral? We just want to use the Fubini trick. So in particular, this is just the same thing as 2 times the integral from 0 to 1, integral from minus infinity to 0 of e of if you want u times 2t plus 1, du dt. And now we can find an antiderivative with respect to u. So it's 2 times integral from 0 to 1, e of u, 2t plus 1, over 2t plus 1, from u equals minus infinity and u equals 0 with respect to dt. Now, uh, e of 0, that is 1. So we get 1 over 2t plus 1. So 2 times integral from 0 to infinity of 1 over 2t plus 1. And well, I'm assuming t is positive, yeah, because t is from 0 to 1. So minus in e of minus infinity here is 0. And so in the end, all we need to do is to integrate this function, but we can all again use uh, you know, ln. So it's 2 times ln of 2t plus 1 over 2. This cancels out, and you evaluate this from 0 to 1. But for t equals 1, this becomes ln of 3. At t equals 0, this becomes ln of 1, which is 0. And so, just like the previous technique, we still get the answer ln of 3. And here's my question for you. Which method do you like more? The Feynman technique method or the u sub method? I kind of like both of them. It's like choosing between chocolate and vanilla ice cream. I don't know. They're all good. All right. I hope you like this. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.